Cut to literally a year later, I am ready to inject some character into this space. Welcome guys to my series about DIYing and styling and making over and making my new house feel like a home. Thank you to Tushy for sponsoring this video. Hi guys and welcome back to Making Home. My name is Kelsey and we're gonna dive right into today's episode which is all about my toilet room slash water closet slash poop room, whatever you wanna call it. Now, in my basement where my bathroom is, I already did my bathroom makeover if you guys haven't seen that. Maybe just pause this video and go watch that cause it's a pretty good episode and a pretty good makeover. But my toilet actually isn't in that space. I put it in a separate room just for privacy, just for privacy, period. <laughs> so the space is literally a closet with a toilet in it. And I actually brought the toilet forward a little bit from the back of the space to give myself the option for some storage behind the toilet as well so that when people that stand up to pee come over, they don't hit their head on the ducting that is in there. Now the space is fine as is, it's just a little clinical and um, needs some personality injected into it. So that's what we're gonna do today. Today for you. A long time for me. <laughs> now back in the summer or late spring when I first moved in, just to make it functional, I added a toilet paper holder in a goldy color and I also added a light fixture that I found that I thought was a pretty good deal and I thought would fit the space pretty well. Cut to literally half a year later and I'm finally ready to bring some character to the space. And now this painting is character on its own and I was gonna use it in this space, but spoiler alert, I'm not going to, but there is a good story behind the painting and I'll leave that story until an episode where it finds its final hanging spot. Make sure you guys are subscribed so that you don't miss that. We love an organic subscribe, shout out. I feel like the lighting is bad. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so welcome to my toilet room. So we're gonna go hard with this toilet room makeover. I'm not gonna let it take me like three months like all my other makeovers have. We're planning to get this baby done in a week, which is very exciting. What also is very exciting is that this video is sponsored by Tushy. And can I tell you guys that I reached out to them. I know that they work with influencers or YouTubers and um, I've actually used a Tushy at a house I lived in previously and um, I absolutely loved it and then when I didn't have a tushy anymore I was like oh I need it I need a tushy so I'm so excited to install this tushy so if you guys don't know tushy is a bidet attachment so you can attach it to every single toilet that exists and if you don't know why you need a tushy <laughs> this whole video is gonna be very personal but there are some reasons that I really love the idea of a tushy and look how simple it is this is all it is. You can deal with this, right? So the reason I am super jazzed about a tushy is because uh, overall, it just makes the whole process of using the bathroom a very clean experience. The average person uses 57 sheets of toilet paper a day, which is actually a mind blowing number. And what also is mind blowing is that it takes 37 gallons of water to make one roll of toilet paper that actually like really hurts. Like once you learn these facts, you can't go back, guys. The Tushy's only gonna use one pint of water to um, clean your bottom in the same amount of time. And yeah, you can just follow it up with a little TP to dry it off, but you're definitely not gonna be using 57 sheets. Am I right? That was a little aggressive. I'm just very excited, honestly. Um, I should also like maybe clean out this room a little bit. Honestly, since day one of designing my house, I knew I was going to be getting a Toshi bidet in this toilet room. Um, so I made sure that they installed a cold and hot water hookup. Uh, the cold water is what your toilet uses and you don't have to have a hot water hookup. It's just a nice addition, but you can definitely just use your hot water hookup or if you have a sink right beside your toilet, you can use your um, hot water from your sink as the hot water. But this right there, that's just for the bidet. Okay, so today's update is that um, I did get the tushy on yesterday, but uh, my toilet seat, I just need longer screws now that I have the tushy on it. The screws that ha came with my toilet seat are long enough. So they're actually sending me apart, which is awesome. 
and then we'll be good to go. Um, in the meantime, I want to move on to some of the designy things. Now, last night I spent some time mocking up some designs, and today we're gonna try to really decide on something. Okay, let me explain. Um, I think that this stark white toilet room is just a little clinical for me. I want to bring some warmth, some interest, so I definitely have a vision of painting it. Now the question is, do I paint ceiling and all of it, one color? I do have these doors here, which they're going to stay white on the outside, so I think it makes sense. I mean, I could paint, I could paint the insides. I was always thinking that they would just stay white, but... Maybe I paint the insides too, because I was like, if the doors are white, we definitely have to keep like the ceiling white or something to really blend it in, but dude, I don't know. Honestly, I'm a little overwhelmed. Um, I did get some paint samples from Benjamin Moore. We can just take out the greens, guys. I know I've been doing a lot of green and I won't do green in here, okay? I just won't. I also asked them to send me a fan deck next time I get a paint order because I literally go in and grab all of the paint chips and I just want a fan deck. But yeah, I was thinking we could do like a navy blue. I was thinking we could do like a warm reddish tone to match the floor. I even was about to leave and I saw this gold color and I was like, oh my God, that's kind of cool too. Um, just like my bedroom, <laughs> if you guys remember, the bedroom episode. I need to pick something that will go with the floor because the floor is not super neutral. Like it does have a little bit of a pinky undertone. So we can't, you know, what's the word? Contrast is good, uh, but what is bad? Clash. <laughs> we can contrast, but we can't clash it. So let's pick a color. I was even thinking like a black or like a dark, a dark color. I'm gonna use some painter's tape to mark out where the shelves go, and then we can figure out the color. Okay, so here's my short list of colors. It's hard to tell, but these are more blue. We even have a gold and some reds. Um, and then let's talk about this back wall here. So, I know I wanna do a little cabinet behind the toilet for extra storage, but I'm not sure if I wanna do a shelf above a lower cabinet or a tinted mirror to make the space feel bigger, or both, or neither. I mean, basically all of them had a tinted mirror at the back here with some kind of like shelves in front of it and then a cabinet down here. Now, I'm definitely realizing that I my options for paint are kind of like either some kind of half or three quarter or you know what, maybe even the whole freaking space. Um, but after seeing something like the half, definitely don't like that. I think it's still too white and um, this one's even more interesting where it has the ceiling colored but then the rest white. But I really do think that the way to go is either a three quarter. So many decisions, I don't know what to do. I think the mirror would look really good. I'm just kind of like, oh, it's expensive. The install and everything is a little no, bit more complicated. Or will it look dated? I feel like they are that borderline like, of like, is it cool? You know, maybe with and like my vintage art and everything I have going on. Maybe the tinted what? mirrors. I feel good. like, what is my gut telling me? Listen to your gut. My gut is telling me to not. My gut is telling me to not do it. Cool, now we just need to decide on color and where we're gonna paint. Let me contemplate. Honestly, I was spiraling a bit. Okay, so I don't know what to do about this. Like, these have to stay white. Is it better to just leave the whole thing white? I don't know. I had so many ideas and none of them felt just right. Like, I don't know if I should keep the doors white or I could still do the quarter thing, the three quarter thing, but I just feel like timbre. <laughs> just <kidding. laughs> I'm stressed. So I went back to the drawing board and back to Pinterest. Which is when I remembered that I wanted to do wallpaper in this space. Okay, I sent the email. So now we're wallpaper shopping. Look what literally just 
came. Oh, I feel like I'm exposing my whole, my whole little landing here. My universal parts so I can attach my toilet seat. Um, we can do that. I'm also going to see what some of my top choices for wallpaper are. This is like a hard decision, guys, but um, it's one we have to make. I wanna hear your, do I? Do I wanna hear? I wanna hear your um, thoughts in the comments below on my choices here. But first let's go finish installing this tushy and then we can look at some wallpaper options. Oh, so much better. Oh my God, so much better. Ta-da! This isn't really something I never thought I'd be showing to people, but here we go. We have bum wash, nozzle wash. Ah! Wow, that's powerful. As you guys can see, the tushy attachment is very sleek. I've seen some bidets, because I considered getting like one of the ones that are like the big seats that like heat the seat and everything, but they're just like so large and they don't look very sleek. So I love how this is very easy to use so that it's not intimidating, you know, if anybody comes over. And it just instantly makes this whole toilet room feel more luxe because it's like, it's not a smart toilet, but like it's kind of smart, you know what I mean? It does more than your average toilet, that's for sure. Um, and right now the classic is $79 USD. The spa, I believe, is like $109. And you guys can go to hellotushy.com slash sorrygirls for 10% off of your order as well as free shipping. And again, I asked Tushy to be a part of this video because I was a fan. So um, I wanted to share that with you guys. Everyone has a butt, so everyone deserves, honestly, the gift of a tushy. You're not gonna know what you're missing until you try it, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> okay, shall we move on? Shall we pick some wallpaper? Okay, so I have to be honest. This is probably the most indecisive I have literally ever been. I wasn't over the moon with any of the wallpaper options and it was going to cost me three to $400 for this space, which definitely had me second guessing the whole wallpaper option altogether. So we're back to the paint idea and I actually feel really good about it. Okay, hold on. Another indecisive thing. Okay, let's go downstairs. <laughs> um, so I had just not been like loving the light fixture that I put up. I just feel like I had already outgrown it and I actually kept the box this entire time because I was like, I might find something better, I don't know. And then I was on the CB2 website and guys, like this wall sconce, which is cute, metal, kind of like vintage but modern, which is why I like it, um, it was on sale. I don't, I think originally maybe it was like around a hundred, but it was on sale for $30, like 30 something. And I was like, okay, well that's like cheaper than the one that I already got, which I thought was a good price for like 70 something. So we're gonna put this up and we're gonna pick, pick new paint colors. Like it's cute. It's just, I also feel like, it, oh wow. <laughs> I did not notice that was like that. Um, I will say though that this won't be able to fit this way, so it's gonna have to go upside down, <laughs> which might drive some of you crazy, but I think if I didn't tell you that this was upside down, then you wouldn't have even noticed. I could also go this way too, but we're gonna go this way. Did I turn off the breaker? I gotta turn off the breaker. I didn't turn off the breaker. I don't wanna die. You know the drill. I know it's very dark. Uh, do you guys remember in my entryway video when I said I needed that universal thing 
um, and it was a circle so that I could properly attach this thing to it. Basically, see how the holes are like diagonal? But this thing needs to be mounted this way in order for the whole light to not be diagonal. So I need to go to Home Depot and get one of those universal things, which is so frustrating, especially because Home Depot isn't open right now. It's only curbside, so I don't even know if I can get this today. But I'm gonna place an order for that. I also need to grab some wood for the little built-in I'm gonna do here. Oh, and let's pick a paint color. Okay, so let's let's close this up so it's safe and pick a paint color and then maybe go to Home Depot, but at least place the Home Depot order. COVID, you're killing me. Guess who's back? Back again. Swatches are back. Tell a friend. Swatches are back, swatches are back. Okay, and I also know I just said that I wanted to do red, but also I've been thinking about black. I'm always thinking about black. I could still do blue too. I need you to know that I'm doing everything in my power not to paint this green. Everything in my power. So it's the next day and luckily the curbside pickup only took one day. Um, I thought it would take a week. So this is great news and I'm going to pick up some things that I need to work on this toilet room. These are huge. <laughs> ah! I'm trying to find light bulbs for this new thing I got from CB2, the new scones. And I'm having issues. I don't know, like the listing is gone because the fixture that I bought from CB2 was like on clearance. So the listing's gone. I don't think CB2 sells light bulbs. I need like a circle small one. Woo! Oh my God. And then like, how do you return this? Cause it's COVID. <laughs> so frustrating. Okay, let's go to Home Depot. Okay, now we can put up this light. We love lockdown. Universal cross piece. And then this is what I needed to mount. So that's why I needed it. Cause the screws are here and you don't want this to be on an angle. Um, okay, so we have a sconce, a light. So um, the picture on the website, I'll see if I can find what this looks like on the website. It's just like a little round, like white bulb. This I just happened to already have. It came with the light that I got for the um, bathroom unit, um, if you guys remember. But one of the light bulbs was broke when it arrived. I got new light bulbs for it, but um, the other one's dead. Here's the other one. So it actually kind of works out. Like these use more electricity and everything. So obviously LED is always the way to go, but until I can find the proper light bulb that goes with this, it's not the worst. It's kind of vibey to be honest. It's like very like, it even makes a noise. Well, do we like it better? I think so. I feel like it feels like it's the right height now because the other one, like the bulb was like literally right here. So yay, and it was cheaper. <laughs> I mean, we can return the other one. Cute. Okay, so my plan, I've never done any kind of like built-in cabinet like this before and I'm a little nervous to be honest, but instead of sitting and stressing about it, I'm just gonna do it and if I make a mistake, it's better than sitting around and stressing about it because literally I've been putting it off for way too long. So my first step, is going to be to cut out pieces that are gonna hold a plywood shelf. A lot of this is material that I kind of just stole from the office. It's really hard to get material right now because uh, lockdown. I'm gonna start off by cutting pieces and screwing those into studs to create like a little shelf. And then we're gonna build some uh, cabinet doors that go in front of that. I'm so nervous, I have not done this before. But the only way to do is to try. Welcome to my sad backyard. 
making home episodes coming soon on making a nicer, cuter backyard. <laughs> it's a little bit embarrassing to be honest. The satisfaction I'm gonna get from pre pressure washing this flagstone New day, still leggings and a sweatshirt, but um, so I have my little cabinet built here. Can't believe we made it this far. It's actually going okay. But I'm gonna move on to putting a trim around the wall because I wanna paint the bottom half one color, leave the top half white, I think. I feel like a wallpaper down the line could be an interesting idea for like the top half of the space, but we know my issue with wallpaper. Expensive. Okay, so I'm gonna work on the trim that's gonna go around the space. We actually have a bunch of leftover timber wood from doing all the timber projects in our office. So I stole some of that from the office and that's what I'm gonna use to do this trim. I hope this looks good. <laughs> Got it? Cool. Maybe I'll do like a mirror here, like leaning. Maybe I'll antique it. Who knows? I definitely don't. <laughs> okay. Okay, game plan. Before I can tack these onto the wall, I definitely want to get my wall color, paint the bottom half, and paint the pieces themselves and then tack them up. So my options are to either sand down my whole like cupboard here a little bit and prime it, or we can move on to something that I actually want to do. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Trigger warning for any, what's it called? When you don't like the holes, when you don't like orifices. So as this is a bathroom, we have this fan here. It's plastic, I think it's ugly. So let's take it off. Okay, so replacing this plastic piece with a vent cover that actually, I don't know where it was from, obviously somewhere in the house, but I think the contractors found it because when they left, it was just in a pile of other things that they left. Honestly, I could probably use this to do my workouts. I think it's like 10 pounds. And I just love that it was obviously originally in the house and I would love to, I don't have anywhere else to use it, so I might as well use it to cover up this. So the problem you might realize is that it's very, the holes are very large. So I picked up three of these metal sheets that I can kind of layer it with. So these are just from my local hardware store. I have Triangly Boy. I have this Tory Birch, we'll call it. And then lots of holes, <laughs> baby holes. I think I like this one the best. I'll just have to return these other ones but we'll do something like this. Let's even see if I can get this up on the wall because the thing I just took down is square. This is rectangle. I don't know. Before I cut this to size, let's see if this even works. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at that. Going to need to do some more patching. Heaven forbid I do a DIY and I don't need to repatch holes. Okay, or I could go this way. Oh my God, it goes that way. I don't need to patch any holes. Oh, but that won't work. Oh, will it? Maybe. It's heavy. I kind of like up and down. Sorry, the lighting is so bad in here. As if that helps. Okay, so I guess let's get a pencil and see if we can 
find some studs or something. Seriously, I wish you guys could feel how heavy this is. It, it's really pretty, I don't wanna paint it. Maybe I don't have to. Guys, it worked. These two I had to put into drywall plugs, and then this one went into a stud, and this one's kind of just going into the metal frame, but oh my god, it worked. I think it looks cool and like vintage. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna take it off, cut out the back piece. I'll obviously need, I think, to paint this black too, like behind here, so that it looks like it's the abyss. <gasps> wow. Like, for once, something went my way and I wasn't indecisive about it. Honestly, don't know if this is a bad idea, but we're gonna try it out. So, I have a lot of brass, wow, cute. I have a lot of brass going on here, but my toilet handle is uh, chrome. So, <laughs> I looked them up. They're anywhere from 50 to $100, and obviously it's a little difficult to get parts right now. So I was just like, why don't we try spray painting it? If it chips and you know, starts to wear because it is a high use item, then I'll just replace it down the line. But we might as well start with just some good old spray paint. But the next issue is how does one remove a, whatever this is called. I tried watching some videos online, but they look a little bit different than my situation here. Guys, I'm so sorry. It's absolutely It's filming in here. Absolute I think unscrewing is the smartest thing, right? Oh yeah, it's reverse threaded, usually righty tighty, lefty loosey, but because they don't want this to get loose, it's reverse threaded or something like that. Oh, don't do that. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Oh, what? Ah, oh, oh, Guys, this is the clean part of your toilet, I promise you. Okay, I just realized that I should have gone pee before I undid this. Okay. <laughs> okay, so um, my first step is to give it a coat of primer. I use this for my shower drain and it's held up really well. So I'm going to give it a coat and then we're gonna head to Michael's to pick up some, some spray paint. Some spray paint. I hope this isn't a horrible idea. Wow! What? It's like it lost its air. Wow. <sighs> Thank you. My mask smells like fresh baked cookies, which I don't understand, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> Honestly, that was a really successful run. And now I feel like I can get to work. Let's go. This is me being extra and cutting a hole in my wall to make use of the space behind the toilet so that I can hide my plunger. Sometimes I'm just too much for myself, honestly. Can't talk right now, doing hot girl sh Oh my god. I mean, you know what? For the amount of times that you're gonna use a plunger, never. I didn't want it out in the open, so. That's on that, Henny. Ready? Dusty Ranch. Oh, Dusty Ranch Brown. This is Butternut Brown. Introducing a warm brownie. Now I'm hungry. And lastly, Knoxville Gray, aka our bluey green option. 
Oh my god, how are we ever gonna choose? I did some samples over here too. <laughs> and dried off the brush there. Um, well, okay, hold on, we need to try it in this lighting too. <laughs> uh, it's definitely between the warm colors. It's definitely between the two dark colors. Sorry to anybody that liked these two options. I'm kind of thinking it's this one for me. I think, I think that's what I'm gonna do, which would be this one. Wow, we did it. Here we go. I feel like things are really coming together. Okay, I know today's gonna be a good day because we are going to finish this water closet. We need to do a couple of final touches, petite amount of styling, and then we're done. And then it's good. But um, let me take you downstairs and let's talk about this color for a second. Oh. <laughs> Most people hit their way head on the way down, so now you're like everybody else. So let me start by saying, if you look at this like a brown crayon, then you're gonna hate it. I get it. But, if you look at this color, like the mud or the clay of the earth that beautifully complements the natural stone floor that I have, then maybe you'll like it as much as I do. I know, it's gonna be a controversial topic. Let me know what you think in the comments below. With kind words, let me know what you think in the comments below. <laughs> but yeah, we have all of our pieces in and together, so let's start doing some things. Okay, first step, the hardware that I ordered for both here and the inside of the doors here isn't going to come in for another week or so. Being the A plus uh, Keener student that I am, I made something. What I did order was this like back plate thing and then a brass finger pull. So I figured out the exact dimensions and then I made this out of cardboard and a dowel. So I'm gonna go spray paint these gold so that we can get a sense. And I still just need to like patch this hole here. But yeah, now you know what kind of student I was in school. And then for these cabinets, um, it's going to be the same finger pull that I ordered for these doors. But I actually have hooks in my bedroom that I can use for now, just so that you guys get a gist and that all the final photos of the space don't look like poop. Don't look like poop. I thrifted this mirror and I'm gonna use it as a tray. And a good tip is to use reed diffusers in a bathroom space. That way you don't have to spray anything or light a candle in order for it to smell good. Shout out to this local brand, Murphy and Joe. In darker windowless spaces, obviously dried flowers or grasses are a really great idea. But we also have a video all about low light bathroom plants. A whole video, a whole challenge that we did to see which ones would survive if you guys wanna watch that. You can click right here. I'm using this storage for toilet paper storage and Kleenex storage, um, as well as other necessities. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Dear viewers, please give me an A+. Are you ready? I don't know if you are. Subscribe if you're ready. <laughs> like this video if you're ready. Okay, here we go. Oh, 
Who knew that such a small room would have so many decisions to be made? I just felt like I could do basically anything in the space, but also still need to match the floor. Those were kind of my only two requirements. Also, the ceiling's really low. It was a tough room in my opinion, and I'm happy with it. I think it's like dark and moody, but calming, you know? Just all the things you want to be when you're using the bathroom. Um, hopefully next time I see you guys in a making home episode, we'll be tackling some of the larger spaces like the living room or the whole landing area that I have. The bottom of my stairs, those are kind of the two big interior spaces left. And then this spring and summer, like I said, we're gonna get to the outside and I'm so excited. And thanks again to Tushy for sponsoring this video. Make sure you guys use the link in the description down below to get 10% off of your order as well as free shipping. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. I think it kind of needs wallpaper on the top half though.